This tutorial will show you how to remove noise from your audio and video with iSpring. The iSpring Audio Video Editor comes as part of all iSpring PowerPoint based authoring tools, except iSpring Converter, which only records and edits audio. The editor can be accessed one of two ways. You can find it here in the program folder along with the other components and use it separately. Or you can access it directly from PowerPoint by clicking Manage Narration on the iSpring toolbar. For this tutorial, I've recorded a short section of audio. Note that you can use audio or video recorded here in iSpring or in a third party tool. Just click it on the timeline and then select Edit Clip from the toolbar. Now you should select at least one second of noise from the clip. A good noise sample should look like a low, fuzzy signal and not include any bumps or clicks, which would look like sharp spikes in the signal. Now click Remove Noise. For your convenience, a small instruction window will pop up. If you're already familiar with the procedure, you can check this box to avoid these instructions in the future. Now click Remove Noise. The background noise will be removed from the entire clip. If you're editing clips from PowerPoint, you can just click Save and Close to return to the narration editor. If you're using the editor separately, or if you'd like to export your clip for further use, just go to the File menu and click Export. Audio can be exported to compressed MP3 or uncompressed WAV format. The latter is recommended if you plan to edit your clip further. Video clips can be exported to MP4 format. When you're ready, click Save. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.